Okay, so we're gonna jump right into the video. So my stuff's been getting flagged for copyright. So one, two, one, two. Don't rush. Slow touch. Brown and white. Like a gold conch. Grab and buy. Make him go bust. As long as I, I can need to add that for that. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment down below and tell me what you want to know or any other questions that you might have. How to get into medicine with basic marks. You feel me? Basic, I'm not talking like scraping through i'm not talking about struggling marks okay i'm talking about like average at least 70 and 70 percent for everything basically a six i think that's the code for it so that those should be your marks in matric and then you obviously apply for medicine and make your second choice bsc you should apply in obviously the year before for the, your next year's studies at the university oh my God. so the university i'm talking about is university of pretoria and stellenbosch i'm not sure about uct and vids and how they do their media transfers but the information that i'm giving you is 90 percent sure of up okay of how up does the media transfers for medicine from bsc so you're gonna apply for the bachelor of science program it's a three-year program right um, I personally did BSc Genetics. You can do BSc Biological Sciences. You can do BSc Physics. You can do BSc Zoology. Listen, also BSc Biological Sciences is not a full three-year program. So it's a six-month program, but you can extend it and choose further. So the media transfer. Here's what you're going to do. You're going to take your mind. You're going to apply yourself. And you're going to focus, okay? So the subjects you're going to take um that are specific to the media transfer for medicine not only for medicine but for medicine dentistry oral hygiene and veterinary sciences you're going to take medical terminology you're going to take philosophy you're not going to take maths um you're gonna what else you're going to take psychology and sociology so those are the subjects that are like the prerequisites and also to take um sociology and psychology medical sociology and psychology you need to have had an average of 70 percent for maths in matric for maths now how to and how to stay focused and all those things my tips are to study this is the hardest you're ever going to study after this it's still vibes guys it's still vibes you just have to just chill you know after this you can like make your own schedules you can you can be a normal student again but there's a lot of competition because the numbers vary from year to year so i i don't want to tell you too much about the numbers and what you should expect so you're gonna need to make sure that you choose your friends wisely because this is a new play field it's not high school friends that you pick especially if you're trying to if you have a goal of getting into medicine or any other thing your friends need to be need to also have the same goal basically they should also be like on their toes for it like your whole your whole crew should be like hungry for it you know um so surround yourself with people that are focused and people that want it as much as you do because at the end of the day you guys will work together and i promise you you guys will make it together okay and also you need to do every assignment as soon as you get it. Don't waste time. Don't say, okay, listen, I'm fine. I'm going to do this. Just do it. You know, just be consistent and work consistently. And it'll be worth it. Like, even if you don't get in, you can finish the year in your within your BSc studies. And then apply for, um, I think they also do, like, your end of year. So you'll do your first year in, say, BSc of genetics, right? And then you can apply to do medicine but the thing with that is you get integrated but you're doing your first year of medicine in your second year of study also there's an extended program that the university of pretoria offers wherein you um you go to the mamelodi campus and you do the a uh, year with program and i think even then they are competing to get into medicine but the thing with that is you do this course for a year like, if you guys want more information on that then i'll be more than happy to make another video but yeah so in this video i'm basically just talking about the media transfers
I bet. But with the media transfer, as soon as you're accepted in your first year, you're also doing first year of medicine. So you're integrated with the media transfer. Um, also, past papers. Past papers are young indo like guys past papers are cheats cheat codes like i'm just that's how you study that's how you get concepts through your head and if you don't understand something ask your lecturers ask your tutors you know um i'm not even gonna advise like to attend every lecture and stuff like that but because at the end of the day you should know okay i'm not gonna listen in this lecture in this lecture i'm on my instagram in this lecture i'm playing around in this lecture makes me sleep so if you have all these things where you know this lecturer does not suit your teaching style, then use that time that you have that lecture to be doing the same things that he's doing, but you're teaching yourself or, uh, you know, study groups and such. But make sure that you always cut up. Don't, don't fall behind. Don't fall behind. And if you do fall behind, which happens because things happen. Mentally, things happen. Emotionally, things happen. Financially. Yes, being a student is a lot. So if you fall behind, get back up okay it's only six months guys consistency positivity and hard work cut out time wasters completely if you know this boy is wasting your time if you know that this party this group can wait for like until he says or something yeah just just spend your time wisely don't do anything in excess unless it's schoolwork there was a lot of tears you know because i remember um testimony time I failed my first chemistry test. I remember. I'll never forget, bruh. I cried. No, I cried. No, honestly, I didn't fail. That's the thing. I didn't even fail. I got like 50%. And I cried because obviously, like in matric, listen, chemistry tests, what? Nothing less than 80. You know, just, I was like used to just being achieving effortlessly. So my first chemistry test was like, you, you were saying yeah so don't beat yourself up for your first taste because you, you need to find your feet at the end of the day because it's not high school like i said so it's going to be a different type of learning it's going to be a different type of testing it's a different type of intensity altogether and just remember that even if you don't get accepted for the media transfer there's other ways around it you know there's like cute things to do within the bsc field and and you might find that medicine isn't even your thing so you know, you need to be sure that this is what you want. Because at the end of the day, it's a six-year commitment. So you can't spend six months being stressed to get into six years worth of something you don't even want to do. So make sure that it's a choice that you've made. Even if you just woke up and you were like, whoa, I see myself as a doctor. That's enough. Okay, okay. Push, push, pray, and do all these things, you know. Yeah, I hope this video was informative. I hope this video was helpful. If you guys have any other questions, comment down below. If you have, if I said something incorrect, then this is how you can get in with basic marks and having just floated through high school. Bye guys.